Jesus says it's easy to love those who love us, a lot harder to love our enemies. And we might add to that, it's easy to fall into the crowd that criticises, that points the finger and that seeks revenge. Hi, I'm Warren, the parish priest here at St Columbus. Glad you could join me for my message of the day. On Sunday, we had that reading from Jesus where he says that we should love our enemies and we should do good to those who are, are cruel back to us and we should emulate God who is merciful. Be merciful as your heavenly Father is merciful. And while I'm not obviously against that, it makes it sound like we could read it as it's an individual act of will. If only I could try harder, I could do this. There's more at play than that. Uh, the love ethic of Jesus, uh, his love of God, he tells us to love our, our neighbour, love our neighbour as ourself, love our enemies. He lived that. Dying on the cross, he says, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. He opens himself to those who are excluded, sinners and tax collectors, Gentiles. He lived the life of love that he, he proclaimed. But it's not just an act of will on our part to decide to follow Jesus, because the, you know, the, the act of vengeance, the violence that he's talking about, which he's offering a gospel of an, an antidote to that, that is also about crowd behaviour. Human beings are so psychologically and socially connected to each other that at a sort of a deeper level beyond our conscious mind often we can follow what others do we can get pulled in in all sorts of ways that's why advertising works for instance but it can be violence that can do that too so someone does something cruel to me well i could be cruel back to them i'm emulating them and then they do something back to me maybe with one of their friends and then i have a little group against them etc and so before we know it, we've, we've got a, 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 an escalation of emulation, of mimicking each other in that violence, in that vengeance. It's like there's a contagion at work amongst us. And you can see this in crowd behaviour. You would have seen it on the TV, read about it. You can read it in history. Whole nations can get pulled into a contagion of violence and of criticism and of prejudice, etc., etc. And that's why following Jesus is so important. He says that we should emulate God, mimic God, who is kind to both the sinner and the righteous, who forgives. It's, and that's, which sounds great, but we need a, a human model of what that means. And Jesus as the son is that model. He emulates the father. That's part of what that language in the Bible is about with Father and Son. Jesus emulates. He is the image, if you like, of the Father who forgives. And we follow him. We are his disciples. We learn from him. We mimic him. It's not just a matter of me deciding, oh, I'm going to do what Jesus said. We actually have to follow him to learn what it means to emulate the Father and through that pattern to bring others in. It's called the church, where we uh, mutually learn from each other as we are disciples of Jesus. Uh, and in that discipleship, to be ambassadors of that Jesus who is our model. Uh, this is a, a, an important and often undiscussed um, aspect of being a Christian in the world now. It's not just a matter of will, but of actually of our discipleship is about mimicking Jesus, about emulating him, so that we can stand against the spirit, the, the contagion of, if you want to use traditional language, sin, but we could use language like violence and vengeance, etc., that so often pulls people in. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.